Hey there, Clashers. Welcome to another episode of Clash with Quant. This is going to be a Rage and War top four. Let's go ahead and take a look at the attacks. Now the first attack is going to be Flitz, and that is going to be on this popular white flag base. Flitz is going to use a Go Wee Wee, which is a very good way to do this. Drops two golems on the long side of the base, which is a little unusual. Oh, three golems actually. Follows it by wizards. Is that four golems? Wow, it's four golems. I had no idea. And follows it by wizards to clean up all those junk structures. Drops his king on one side and his queen on the other side. His witch is right in the center, so he has three golems right now smushed together at this one point. Huh. There goes the bomb and two wizards. That witch is probably going to go down by that uh, expo real soon. But three golems go one way. One golem goes the other way with a couple wizards and a witch. He goes ahead and rages his three golems and the queen very, very likely to get rid of those clan castle troops that are going to try to shoot him down. On the other side, he heals his troops very smart. His king is banging away on the wall, trying to get that archer queen. Drops another heal up top to keep those trailing troops behind the golems nice and healthy as they move around the corner. His bottom troops, after the queen goes down from the king, move to the right corner of the base. Eventually, three of his golems. He's still going to have three golems? Wow. He's still going to have three golems. They're triggering bombs. Oh, two, two, then two golemites. Both of his factions of troops are going to meet up right at the center portion of the base, which is exactly what he wanted. Now that the outside structures are all taken care of, here comes a rage spell, causing his troops to go mad, getting into the center of the base. Couple of Pekkas, couple of golems, couple of wizards, and a queen. It's going to be quick work in the center of this base. As you could imagine, the town hall goes down in a couple whizzy attacks. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it because we know with that many troops in the center of the base, it's a three star. Good job, Flitz. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next attack. And that's going to be from Diddy. What you've expected if you're watching these attacks, it's going to be a go ho. Diddy is a go ho monster. So, first things first for Diddy, he is going to drop one giant to lure that clan castle. There is fast forward through it and a poison to get rid of the clan castle troops because that's what he likes to do, get them off the board as quick as possible. There they are, the balloons are roasted. The, the dragon is moving a little bit slow, but he goes ahead and drops his three golems. His level 5 up top, his two level 4s at the bottom, followed by wizards. A couple of to break through that first section of walls. That's going to be no problem. His troops are eventually going to not only take out that clan castle dragon, but take that jump spell towards the center of the base. Now the wizard's gone. Once the wizard's gone, Diddy knows that it is going to be... Oinker time. Here come his hogs on the one side. Just a giant group of hogs. He's going to keep those hogs under the heel the entire time, as you can see. So there we have those hogs under heel the entire time. Awesome. And his actually his kill squad is all gone at this point so he's just gonna have wizards remaining or excuse me hogs remaining to clean up and that one wizard on the bottom and a couple archers so he's gonna go ahead and drop his cleanup archers on the left hand side his hogs are working through the base no more heal but look how many hogs he has there's just way too many hogs i think it might be almost all of his hogs remaining taking out the last couple of point defenses the archer tower is going to go down really quickly and from this point forward it is cleanup time and we know that Diddy's going to get a three-star. Otherwise, it wouldn't be on the Raging War top four. So there we have it. Another three-star go-ho from Diddy. Good job, Diddy. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next attack in the Raging War top four. And it's going to be from none other than Jude. Let's go ahead and take a look at Jude. This is going to be a go-ho as well. And I think this is a cleanup attack, so we knew where all the bombs were. He's going to go ahead and lure that clan castle first. 
to the corner. He doesn't want to deal with that with his kill squad, so he takes care of it beforehand. That's about a minute long process. Once that balloon is down, his golems, a three golem spread up top. There go his wall breakers to break into that wall towards the queen. His golem is now distracting the dragon. His wizards take out the dragon. All of his golems are going into the same spot. There goes his jump spell into the center enclosure. Your king to smack the queen. His queen is coming behind it to take care of whatever is, as the flanking unit, that's what she's doing. So here come his hogs, all of them on one side. I said clean up attack, he knew where the bombs were. Here comes spell number one. The golem triggers the bomb so the hogs don't have to worry about it. And spell number two is going to be coming shortly. Ooh, up oh, spell number two and spell number three. I think that was definitely a misclick because you don't want to have two spells piled on top of each other. But those hogs in the bottom are going to stay inside of that heel. Here comes a dragon, or excuse me, a giant on the right-hand side to start tanking. And it does for that archer tower. He still has a big horde of hogs. He still has a group of his skill squad, including a full level 5 golem, as well as wizards and the archer queen. Last defensive structure, the archer tower is going down. And from this point forward, his cleanup troops on the bottom, his king in the middle, and his his kill squad are going to take the rest of the base out. Good job, Jude. A three star. Next attack is going to be from T. T is going to throw down a Penta Lava Loon. Let's go ahead and see how he does this. I think this was the first attack on the base. So, first things first. Oh, no, this isn't a Pentalava Loon, but it is a Gola Loon. Excuse me. His first attack was a Pentalava Loon. I think it was like a 94%. So there goes his kill squad. Um, that level 5 Golem is just going to tank, especially for those really weak expos. His kill squad is going forward. Um, does that... This player doesn't even have a queen, does it? Oh, yeah. So this makes it even extra easier. Goes ahead and drops that poison on top of the clan castle troops. A little different than what Diddy and Jude just in replays, he's going to take care of those with his kill squad in time so he doesn't have to take the extra time to do it. I think that's a very viable strategy as well as the other one. Do whatever you're comfortable with or mix it up. Really doesn't matter as long as you're taking care of these clan castle troops before the second phase of your attack begins. So, definitely, T did not kill that dragon and he's probably thinking right now, what do I do? Well, he has one choice and that's to throw down his uh, Laloon. So here come his Lava Hounds for that, uh, the last two air defenses. He rages his way. One of the uh, Lava Hounds busts. The pups take out that dragon, which is great. And he's going to go ahead and drop the rage on his last balloons. And from this point forward, after the balloons are in rage, he just has a couple of defenses, none that are even aiming towards the sky. Look at the expos that are on the ground. So this is a very good candidate on the Gola Loon, which is what he did. Here we go. The last wizard tower is taken down and enough pups left on the board for cleanup on the three star. And we're going to give him the glory of showing the three star because he had a good attack on getting that three star. Good job, T. Congratulations on the good attack. And I think we might be able to squeeze in one more Rage and War, top four plus one. Let me go ahead and see if it's the right base that I was thinking of. Yes, it's going to be low. Eight, because he is a Town Hall 8, and he's going to do a Dragon Drop on this Town Hall 8. He's going to do the Earthquake, two Lightnings on the far side. And look at this attack, 1 minute and 40 seconds. Wow, another fast attack. Then he's going to go ahead and throw down a couple of Dragons to clear the path to the center of the base, very wise low. And once he knows that he cleared enough junk structures, he's going to drop down the rest of his Dragons, as well as his Clan Castle Loons. And then he's going to throw down the rage. Watch, right on top of this um, clan castle dragon. The enemy clan castle dragon. Boom, it's down. Above attacks, no big deal. His dragons, most of them are all enraged. Look at that. First air defense, and here they go to the second air defense. Those balloons come in very early. At this point, there's really nothing that will stop the dragons other than those giant, or those bombs that just came out of the middle. But I think they all targeted the same dragon, so it doesn't really really out of those balloons. Oh, I feel so sorry for them. They're trying to get into the party and uh, the dragon's pretty much 
did all the work, but there they go. They finally get to a wizard tower, take that out, they separate and move down and uh, start doing a little bit of work. So there's Lowe's Tyrion King was dropped into the party. This is going to be a three-star version of a Town Hall 8 with an earthquake and two lightning spells. Good job, Low. So thanks so much for watching Clash with Quant. This is a Rage and War top four plus one. Click the like button if you haven't. Leave some discussion about your Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 8 attacks in war. And we'll see you next time.